Okay, uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a PVC sheath for this knife. Uh, the reason being that it came in a pack of two with this other knife here, this other knife in there, and I just wanted a single sheath for this one hunting knife. So, basically what I'm doing is, I'm starting out with a piece of inch and a half PVC uh, that I've cut, I cut about eight inches long. And then, I've cut this notch down the middle with a simple uh, cutoff wheel and a Dremel tool, like this. Just a cutoff wheel. And so, basically, the premise of this is I'm going to heat this up with a heat gun, really hot, so it's all uh, flimsy. I'm going to lay it, lay it out flat. And then I'll put the knife into the PVC, fold it over, and press it to mold it while it cools. Uh, I've never done this before, so uh, this could get interesting. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, as you can see, I've got my piece of pipe sitting there on that old grill. Uh, and that's where we're going to heat it up so that we, it will lay flat and we can form it over the knife while it cools. So uh, a couple of things about uh, the heat gun and stuff. Obviously you're dealing with high heat so you're going to want to protect your hands with a good pair of thick leather gloves. Uh, another thing is when you're handling the PVC pipe itself you're going to want pliers. Uh, these are blacksmith tongs but I mean they're just the same thing. Regular pliers will work fine. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Let me get the camera off the tripod real quick. Okay. Your heat gun. When you're done using it, you're going to need a place to hang it because it's not going to cool off instantly when you flip the switch off. So, I have a little piece of wire hanging from the garage door to hang the heat gun from. And I have it kind of a good distance down so that the heat that is, uh, I don't know what the word is radiating or something coming off the end of the nozzle that's still hot uh, so it doesn't warp your garage door you hang it low enough so it doesn't hurt the garage door up there so yeah uh, there's the plug over there there's a PVC got a place to hang the thing from got our gloves and our pliers so We'll go ahead and fire up the old heat gun and see how this turns out. Alright, as you can see the pipe is starting to open up a bit. Uh, we should have this thing laying flat in no time. One thing I do want to note though, don't leave the heat gun in one spot for too long because that will scorch the PVC which is not exactly what you want to do. Learn that one the hard way. Check back later. Alright, there's our flat PVC. Uh, it's not totally flat but uh, it's as flat as it needs to be. It doesn't have to be super flat. It's still pretty hot even through gloves so going to sit and let that cool down and then we'll come back and start forming it around the knife. Uh, got our heat gun hanging up, cooling off. So that should be good. Other than that, the only thing to do is wait for this to cool down and then we'll form it around the knife. Okay, so I've got my flat PVC and I've drawn some rough lines out for how I want this to fit on around the knife. So our knife here, our knife is going to sit right like this in the sheath with this uh, with the bolster right up against this line. And then the back of the blade is going to be right up against this line so it's semi-centered in the sheath. Pretty much like that. And what we're going to do is, this line here is what we're going to fold along. Now, we don't need this entire thing to fold over the knife. Just need to cut 
this section out here, this one with the X, and get rid of that entirely. And then we'll taco this over and fold that. And then we'll mold it so it kind of fits around the bolster here and holds it in, the retention. Uh, and then clean it up with the Dremel tool later. So that's kind of where I think I want this to go. So for now, uh, I'm going to work on cutting this piece out. Let me move you real quick. There we go. Alright, here we go. And there it is. Corner cut out. Okay, now for the tricky part. Here's our cut PVC, and we're going to heat this up till it's flimsy again. Then we're going to set our knife in there just like that along those lines. And then to mold it while it's still uh, hot and flimsy, we're going to take that whole thing and put it down there on that towel. And then we're going to put another towel on top of it and then on top of that we're going to put that 30, uh, 30 pound piece of railroad track on top of it to weigh it down while it cools and hopefully that should form the PVC around the blade and the, uh, the bolster there so that's what we're going to do uh, is we'll see how it turns out Okay, now we just have to wait till it cools and we'll see the finished product. Alright, here's the sheath as it is now. Uh, it looks really ugly and there's a lot of crap we need to clean up. But it's got the basic, it's got, it rattles a bit, I'll give you that, but it has the retention. Almost too good. <laughs> good God, I can't get it out. Yeah, I might have to fix that. But anyway, it has the retention at least. So I'll have to fix the retention and clean it up a bit with the uh, uh, sandpaper and Dremel tool. But other than that, I think this turned out decent. <laughs> so, alright, I'll check back with you later. And here it is, the almost finished project. Uh, it I fixed the retention problem. There's almost no rattle 
whatsoever. There's a little bit, but and then comes right out, goes right in, nice and easy. Uh, I had to reshape it a couple times off camera, but other than that, it worked pretty nice. I rounded off all the edges, put in a couple of pop rivets here, uh, and then I'm going to add a belt loop up on top and probably paint it because it looks like crap right now. But all in all, I'd say it turned out really nice for my first, uh, my first PVC sheath. So, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.